Well, as we gather in our homes and support each other in this crisis, we stand together with you in prayer and support. I encourage you to pick up the phone, call a friend, maybe meet in a small controlled group of people, maybe grab a coffee and say hi to a neighbour over the fence. I want to share a message with you called Let's Change the Narrative. Don't be ruled by fear. Don't be ruled by misinformation. I encourage you to listen to our Prime Minister Scott Morrison and his daily updates for what's next for us as a people and a nation. Also listen to us as church leaders. We are here to pray with you, to chat, to connect with you. If you need essentials, please give me a call and Noel and I can help you. We'll be in regular contact with you through all the usual channels over these next weeks and months. And I'll be doing short little video messages for you to watch on a Wednesday and a Sunday. We're also looking at a platform called Zoom where we can go face to face and have some meetings and share together in the restriction of our homes. So what has God been saying to me? What has God been saying to you over these recent days? Trust and obey keeps coming clearly to me. Let's enjoy the simpler things in life. Let's take some time to rest. Let's take some time to refocus. Let's take some time maybe to reset. For well, God is faithful. His word remains true and trustworthy. Just as I was with Moses, so I am with you. God's timeless word stands true to us. Let's hold on to God's word. Let's apply his truth to our daily lives. In Isaiah 43 verse 1, My God knows my name. Let's consider that. God knows our name. Let that go deep down into your soul. You might like to read the whole chapter of Isaiah 43 and simply say, God, I'm listening. God, speak to me. God, what do you want to show me from this great chapter in the book of Isaiah? God knows your name. Be encouraged by that today. Isaiah 52 verse 12 encourages me and hopefully you my God goes before me every step every situation God goes before me in these uncertain days hold on to that truth that he will make a way that he will go ahead of you that God has a plan that God is sure and faithful and strong I like uh, verse 13 of Philippians chapter 4 for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. We are met with new challenges daily. Draw on him who gives you strength. You may feel like you're just shut in your home. You may feel this is unfair. You may have real concerns. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Hold on to that. Let God strengthen you today. Romans 8, 18 reminds us, Yet what we now suffer is nothing compared to the glory he revealed to us later. Put that on repeat as you go about your day. When negativity wants to creep in, when we are challenged, when we are uncertain, hold on to a faithful God. Change the song, change the narrative. For God is for me, not against me. What about Isaiah 54, 17? No weapon formed against me will prosper. Galatians 3, 26. We are God's child. I am a child of God. I am loved, I am cared for. Romans 8, 11. The same power, the same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. 
He who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies. Also through his spirit that dwells in you. Friends, God makes a way. He told Noah to go and build an ark that would save his family and the animals from a great flood. When Abraham went to lay Isaac on the altar, God provided a ram as the sacrifice. When Joseph was kidnapped and enslaved and imprisoned, God still have a plan. And you remember we had a recent series about that. And in a roundabout sort of a way, God raised Joseph to a place of power and authority that provided a rescue for his people and food in years of famine. When Moses led the nation of Israel out of Egypt, God parted the waters of the Red Sea and they walked on through to the promised land. As we approach this Easter season, Jesus is the one who makes the way. All he requires from us is faith. Every step we take, we are trusting and believing that God is who he says he is. And he will do what he says he will do. Wherever you are today, whatever your concerns, bring them to Jesus. Lay it before him, the way maker, and trust that he is working on your behalf to bring you and I hope and peace. Yes, things are a bit confusing. Things are a bit hard. People will lose their jobs. People are concerned about their loved ones who may be unwell. But God will make a way. John 14, 6, Jesus said to them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We can all be a positive voice in the weeks ahead. Let us change the narrative. Be hopeful, not hopeless. Be an encourager. And enjoy the simple things in life. Take time to share with one another. Take time to listen and to care. For God will make a way. God bless you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. That you hear the prayers of our people. Even though we might be stuck in our homes. Even though church might be a little bit different for a while. God, I thank you that you will make a way. Bless all who hear this message and watch it. Thank you for them. From our family to yours. God bless you. Amen.